Good day, learners. It's nice to be here again. I hope you are in good condition right now. Welcome to Grade 8 Bread and Pastry Production, Week 2, Day 5. Today, the learning competency is to apply basic mathematical operation in calculating weights and measures in baking. Preferably, we will discuss about conversion or placement of weights and measures. For today's learning objectives, at the end of the learning period, the student should be able to first identify equations that can be used as a substitute to another, second, perform basic mathematical operation in conversion of weights and measures, and third, relate the conversion and substitution of weights and measures to your life experiences. Let's assess your prior knowledge for today's lesson. Multiple choice. Encircle the best letter of the correct answer. Again, you can get your notebook if you want to answer. Feel free to stop or post the video to get time to think. But don't forget to play the video if you are done to check your answer. Number one. What can be added to sweet milk in order to produce a sour milk? A. Chocolate. B. Honey, C. Sugar, D. Vinegar. D. Vinegar. Number two. This is what you add to lard to make a substitute to butter. A. Honey, B. Salt, C. Sugar, D. Vinegar. D. Salt. Number three. What ingredients can be used to replace honey? A. Sugar plus baking powder. B. Sugar plus eggs. C. Sugar plus liquid. And D. Sugar plus milk. C. Sugar plus liquid. Number four. What is the most popular substitute for thickening cornstarch? A. All-purpose baking powder. B. All-purpose cake flour. C. All-purpose flour. D. All-purpose rice starch. C. All-purpose flour. Number 5. Which ingredient can be added to cocoa to create a replacement for chocolate? A. Fat. B. Flour. C. Honey. D. Margarine. A. Fat. Let's do a recap. Convert the following measurement problems. Write your solution in your answer sheet. Number 1, 32 TBSP or tablespoon is equals to blank cups. 2 cups. Number 2, 3 LBS or pounds is equals to blank grams. 1,360 grams. Number 3, 113 grams is equals to blank ounces. 3.985 ounces. Number 4, 6 pins is equals to blank quartz. 3 quartz. And number 5, 3 and 1 fourth fluid ounces is equals to blank TBSP or tablespoon. 6 and a half tablespoons. Our lesson for today is all about performing mensuration and calculation, conversion, placement of weights and measures. In the first column is the list of common baking ingredients with particular measurements. And for the second column is the substitute ingredients. One tablespoon of all-purpose flour is equals to one half tablespoon of corn starch, potato starch, rice starch, or arrowroot starch. One tablespoon of corn starch is equals to two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. 1 cup sifted cake flour is equals to 7 8 cup of all-purpose flour sifted and 1 cup all-purpose flour minus 2 tablespoon. 1 cup of sugar granulated is equals to 1 and 1 third cup brown sugar lightly packed, 1 and 1 half cup corn syrup minus 1 half cup liquid and 1 cup of honey. And 1 cup of honey is equals to 1 and 1 fourth cup sugar plus 1 half cup liquid. 1 ounce of chocolate is equal to 3 tablespoons of cocoa plus 1 tablespoon of fat. 
1 tablespoon of baking powder is equal to 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda plus 1 half cup fully sard milk or lemon juice mixed with sweet milk to make 1 half cup equals to 1 fourth teaspoon baking soda plus 1 fourth to 1 half cup molasses and 1 fourth cream of tartar. 1 teaspoon of active dry yeast is equal to 1 package or 7 gram dry yeast compressed yeast cake and 1 whole egg is equal to 2 egg yolks or 3 tablespoon of toe from frozen eggs and 2 and a half tablespoon of sifted dry whole eggs powder plus 2 and a half tablespoon of lukewarm water. 1 egg yolk is equal to 1 and 1 third tablespoon of frozen egg yolk. 1 egg white is equal to 2 tablespoon of frozen egg white and 2 teaspoon dry egg yolk powder plus 2 teaspoon of water. 1 square unsweetened chocolate is equal to 3 tablespoon of cocoa plus 1 tablespoon of fat. 1 cup of butter is equal to 1 cup of margarine equals to 7 8 to 1 cup hydrogenated fat plus 1 half teaspoon of fat and equals to 7 8 cup of lard plus 1 half teaspoon of salt. And 1 cup of coffee cream 20% is equal to 3 tablespoon butter plus about 7 8 cup of milk. 1 cup of heavy cream 40% is equal to 1 fourth cup butter plus 3 fourth cup of milk. 1 cup of whole milk is equal to 1 cup of reconstituted non-fat dry milk plus 2 and a half teaspoon of butter or margarine. 1 cup of milk is equal to 3 tablespoon of sifted non-fat dry milk plus 1 cup of water equals to 6 tablespoon of sifted crystals plus 1 cup of water. 1 cup of buttermilk or sour milk is equal to 1 tablespoon of vinegar or lemon juice plus enough sweet milk to make 1 cup and let it stand for 5 minutes and equals to 1 and 3 4 teaspoon of cream of tartar plus 1 cup of sweet milk. Let's try understanding the table above on substituting ingredients. Look at the example below. A. 2 TBSP or tablespoon of flour is equals to blank tablespoon of cornstarch. The problem is we don't have a flour and according to the table above, we can use cornstarch as substitute. The question is how much cornstarch? The table above said that 1 TBSP or tablespoon of flour is equals to 1 half TBSP or tablespoon of cornstarch. If you notice, the value of the flour doubled. So get the answer. We just need to double the value of the cornstarch. 1 TBSP tablespoon of flour is equals to 1 half TBSP or tablespoon of cornstarch. It means 2 TBSP or tablespoon of flour is equals to 1 TBSP or tablespoon of cornstarch. 1 half cup sifted cake flour is equals to blank cup all-purpose flour minus blank tablespoon all-purpose flour. As you can see, all-purpose flour can be used as substitute to cake flour. The question is, how all-purpose flour? The table above said that 1 cup sifted cake flour is equals to 1 cup all-purpose flour minus 2 tablespoon of all-purpose flour. This time, the value of the cake flour was reduced to half. We just need to get the value of all-purpose flour in half. If 1 cup sifted cake flour is equals to 1 cup all-purpose flour minus 2 tablespoon of all-purpose flour, 1 half cup sifted cake flour is equals to 1 half cup of all-purpose flour minus 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour. For activity number 5, do the following activities. A. Give the equivalent measures of the following substitute ingredients. Number 1, 3 tea or 3 tablespoon of all-purpose flour is equals to blank tablespoon of cornstarch. 1 and 1 half tablespoon of cornstarch. Number 2, 2 cup cake flour sifted is equals to blank cup all-purpose flour sifted. 1 and 3 fourth cup all-purpose flour sifted. Number 3, 2 square and sweetened chocolate is equals to blank tablespoon of cocoa and blank tablespoon of fat. 6 tablespoon cocoa and 2 tablespoon of fat. Number 4, 
2 whole eggs is equals to blank egg yolks or egg yolks. Number 5, 2 cup coffee cream 20% is equals to blank cup of milk and blank tablespoon of butter. 6 cups of milk and blank 1 and 3 4 tablespoon of butter. D. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Number 1. 1 tablespoon of cornstarch is equals to 2 tablespoon of all-purpose flour. 3 tablespoon of cornstarch is equals to blank tablespoon of all-purpose flour. 6 tablespoon of all-purpose flour. Number 2. 1 tablespoon of all-purpose flour is equals to 1 half tablespoon of rice starch. 6 tablespoon of all-purpose flour is equals to blank tablespoon of rice starch. 3 tablespoon of rice starch. Number 3, 1 ounce of chocolate is equals to 3 tablespoon of cocoa plus 1 tablespoon of fat. 1 half ounce of chocolate is equals to blank tablespoon of cocoa plus blank tablespoon of fat. 1 and 1 half tablespoon of cocoa plus 1 half tablespoon of fat. Number 4. 1 cup of butter is equals to 1 cup of margarine. So 2 and 3 part cup of butter equals blank margarine. 2 and 3 part cup of margarine. Number 5. 1 cup of milk is equals to 6 tablespoon of sifted crystals plus 1 cup of water. 1 fourth cup of milk is equals to blank sifted crystals plus blank water. 1 and 1 half tablespoon of sifted crystals plus 1 fourth cup of water. After the lesson, let's do a wrap up. Graphic organizer. So you can create your own graphic organizer to sum up the lesson. We can use conversion or substitution of weights and measures in case the ingredients are not available at home or in the market. Think and share your opinion about the words conversion and substitution. Relate it to your real-life situation. Post this. Encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What ingredients can be used to replace honey? A. Sugar plus baking powder. B. Sugar plus eggs. C. Sugar plus liquid. And D. Sugar plus milk. C. Sugar plus liquid. Number 2. Which ingredient can be added to cocoa to create a replacement for chocolate? A. Fat. B. Flour. C. Honey. D. Margarine. A. Fat. Number 3. What is the most popular substitute for thickening cornstarch? A. All-purpose baking powder B. All-purpose cake flour C. All-purpose flour D. All-purpose rice starch C. All-purpose flour Number 4. What can be added to sweet milk in order to produce a sour milk? A. Chocolate B. Honey C. Sugar D. Vinegar. E. Vinegar. And number five, this is what you add to lard to make a substitute to butter. A. Honey. B. Salt. C. Sugar. D. Vinegar. B. Salt. That's the end of our lesson today. Thank you and see you next time.